Alright, so how's it going everyone? Uh, I think this is the first time I've started recording since I got here in Vietnam. Just an update, like, I've been in Vietnam now, and to be honest, like, I haven't enjoyed my time here at all. Uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be, and it's definitely, it's definitely not what I remember it to be. Uh, I'm staying in my grandmother's house down in uh, Haiphong. It's just like two minutes off the CBZ, and uh, just walking around the park now, like, I originally wanted to get out of Vietnam like within a few days because I came here and I couldn't find any MMA gyms or any combat sports gym at all or anything like that. Then when I eventually, eventually I did find one, but for some reason, uh, all the stuff, all the equipment, the like gun shields, rash guards, keys, all of that stuff would have had to be ordered online, and that would have taken quite a bit of time and it would have been more expensive than i just gone back to Ireland. I rang up SBG, they gave me a price and it's a lot cheaper than over here. Since I've been in Vietnam, all it's been is one big headache, pitiful drama, stress, left, right and center. The first six days I couldn't even relax. My sleep patterns all off. And to be honest, like I've had better sleep in Australia when I was working on the sites than I have been since I've been here doing absolutely nothing. And that's the problem, it's nothing. It's like, the weather right now is like 29 degrees and we're heading to the winter. Low wind, still humid as fuck though. Oh no, I just feel like if you come here, like if you're, if you want to come to Vietnam, do all the sightseeing stuff, yeah, by all means do that. But if you want to come here to party, just go to Thailand, my advice. Cause it's not as, it's not as cheap as it used to be. It's like, it's growing. There's a lot of construction booming right now and there's a lot of Korean and Chinese investors in here. So like, everything's just going, the price is just going straight up. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, like, like I said before, I regret coming here. I should have just went straight home. I bought, I was gonna book a ticket to leave here on a, October, like last week, what's it, last week, October, October 15th, right, so yesterday. But what happened was, uh, when I went to buy the ticket, uh, originally like, my ticket was to leave here on the 22nd of December. So I rang up my travel agency, said here look mate, what's the chance of me uh, just changing the date? Same company, same route, everything. He said uh, $300, said fair enough, let's do it. I went to do it, he said nah mate, the seat's gone. But if you want, I can put you on a different flight, same company, just a different plane later on in the day, $500. I said, here mate, what about next week? Because yeah, next week is cheaper, so we booked for next week, which is a few days from now. It's gonna be like $200, which is a lot cheaper than $500. It's apparently to do with all this, something to do with like Japan with the typhoon and all this stuff. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm leaving here soon. I was planning on staying here for three months, but hey, that's life, shit happens. Lessons learned. But yeah, I should've just gone to Phuket or Bangkok or something, do Thai top team or whatever it is. Like, and then the whole debacle with the whole customs thing when I sent my suitcase in. The woman did not want to deal with it at all. I went down two hours with my dad and his friends. We got her all, the paperwork, all that shite. We've been there since half nine, she doesn't want to deal with it. Luckily though, I caught some uh, white dude, no offense, was talking to him in English. Luckily, he was from Tyrone. He says to me, am I from Dublin? I said, I'm a Dublin lad. He's like a northern lad. We were talking like this. And then uh, he introduced me to the guy who was in charge because there was an audit in the DHL warehouse. And the guy was a Vietnamese dude from uh, Sydney as well, Cabra Mata. So yeah, we, would, we just clicked and then my stuff, my suitcase, everything was clear within minutes. Did have to pay any VAT because it was already my old stuff for personal use. But yeah, right now though, I'm just, Bored out my head, depressed out my head, stressed, getting into petty arguments with my mom because she's like bipolar for some reason. I don't know, just she's, oh, don't even get me started with her. Like, I've been away from the house for over a year now and for some reason she still finds a reason to pick arguments with me over silly things. I'm out here bonding, trying to get along with my dad. Anyone knows me knows that I don't have a relationship with my dad. But uh, right now it's been the best since it's ever been and it's still not enough to please her goes to show that there's no pleasing a woman, <sighs> right? So now the plan is to go home, apply for Canada, 
fingers crossed, get my visa, never come back again. That's my way of thinking right now. So other than that, there's not much left to say. Uh, I guess I'll just shoot some B-roll, even take a few pictures. I've been walking around here taking pictures, testing out the 200Z with the 50mm, which is actually a good combo. But, uh, yeah, other than that, over and out. The traffic in Vietnam is a lot, it's crazy, mate. Like, the population has gone, gone up since last time I've been here. There's a lot more cars now. Like, people don't care about lanes. There can be two lanes, one going down, one coming back. But in each lane, you could have counterflow traffic. So it's just crazy, mate. Normally, back home, when there's a junction, people will drive up to the junction, wait, and then turn. But here, they just skip over to the lane and then drive down and reach into the junction. And it's just stressful as fuck. It's like, oh, what's this? A syringe? Junkies. Yeah. That's it. Take it easy.